All right, it is officially pulling, robbing, however you wanna call it, harvesting honey day. <laughs> We are fixing to harvest some honey. Uh, we'll kind of go through the steps of how it gets from the hive to actually in the um, the true bucket, uh, and then into your mason jar when you buy it from the store. So we'll go over that. Uh, as you remember, I've already harvested some of the apiary, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, get those from the foundations to the extractor, and then from the extractor to the mason jar, from the mason jar and our bellies. All right, so we're just gonna scrape uh, the honey, the foundations basically, and you see that it's capped off. When it's covered up with that white, that's the wax that's on top of the honey. So we're gonna uncap it, basically it's both sides as you see. We're gonna uncap it, and then uh, from there, uh, we'll get it inside the, uh, inside the, um, the extractor. There's three different tools you can use to um, cut your wax or, or get, your wax, um, get your wax from the actual foundations. Um, now you can do a hot, a hot knife, but I, I don't use a hot knife. I use three different tools. So the first one, of course, is your knife. Uh, it's got it's serrated, bladed, so that way it cuts the, the the wax really easy. It just goes side to side. Pro to this is it's got this divvy. Con to this. If your bees sometimes like some of the hives I've got, they don't build perfectly um, symmetrical uh, wax foundation. So, say you have a foundationless, uh, meaning it does not have a wax build on it, and it gives them like a cheat sheet. Sometimes their honeycomb is not even. So, this one sometimes uh, does well if they're straight. You know, like this one right here, um, as you see, it's pretty straight. I mean, it's it's. You know, it's not got any crazy shape to see it. So that the knife will work good on it. So that's what we use for those kind. Now, if you've got one that's kind of crazy shaped, um, sometimes you just go to uncapper. This is what uncaps. So if some of those are the knife can't get to it, you just basically just go right onto the, the wax and scrape it off. And I'll show you how we use this one. Uh, a lot of times I end up going to this because it seems like sometimes the knife can't get to it, especially in the corners and also on the bottom where the knife just can't reach so we'll use the uncapper. Um, we do have a new a new gadget basically it just it's supposed to do the same thing it's supposed, to, it's supposed to lay it tighter and then uncap it so we're going to try it we've never tried it before so I'm anxious to see if it'll work but um here we go. <laughs> So you see how this has got a little screw in it? That's what goes on this bucket, just like that. I put my foundation on there and it allows it to hold it in place as I scrape. Now you see this bucket, we have wax in there, the, the capped wax, but it also will have a little honey too, which is okay, because what we'll do after we strain our honey, then we'll come back and actually strain the wax and then get all the, get all the extra wax, I mean all the extra honey that's in there we'll put it into, into the rest of the honey. So uh, we're gonna go and finish out the other foundations.
they're now two sides are empty. So you take your frame and see that side is empty. We're going to then turn it to the outside to where we can sling it the opposite way. All right, again, look one more time. This side is, is empty other than just a few little spots and we can take those off right there. But if you look at that and see how that side is full still. So we're going to go ahead and put it back in here and slay it again. First, let's see if everybody's got to taste a little bit. Man, it's good. All right, so you see it's empty. Empty. So this one's ready. Now, what we'll do with this one, we'll go back and put it right in the hive. And they'll clean it back up and it'll be ready to use. So we'll slide it in here. All right, let's get this one out. Same thing. And we'll do that process. I think we got about 20 frames, so we'll do that process for the next few minutes. All right. We have uh, slung about 18 frames. There's about two more left. As you can see, it's, it gets kind of messy. Um, but basically we've, we've slung 18. We got two that we, they're foundationless that we will cut, uh, cut the, cut them off the frame. And I'll show you how we do that and put the whole honeycomb in jars. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to, uh, eating honeycomb. A lot of people will, uh, spread it on a piece of toast with their honey. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, great benefits, especially with all the pollen in there and, uh, and just all the good things that bees do. So um, a lot of people like it with the comb. So we have uh, two frames with the comb. Uh, and then of course the other 18 are slung already. So it's a mess. I got to start cleaning it up. Uh, as you see, it's not, it, there's raw honey in there with a, a lot of the wax still in there. So it has to be filtered. Uh, I'll start the filter process and I'll show you kind of what it looks like from there. That's a small filter. We we had to filter a little bit because it was filling up our, exclu our excluder so much, our extractor so much that we couldn't spin anymore. So we'll get this kind of cleaned up, get the extractor inside and let it just start draining in a five gallon bucket. All right, so how cool is that? <clears throat> Cut out of the frame. Look at that, how beautiful that is. So we cut it and basically what we'll do is, is just section it off in little strips and we'll put it in with the, uh, the honey. So you're getting true raw, unfiltered honey um, again great great for your allergies great great for so many other benefits uh, to our bodies um, you know it, eating comb is not for everybody and I wouldn't say eat a lot of it it's just it's just good to have a little bit every once in a while but just want to show you how cool that was how it is just cuts it out just easy as pie all right so we've got all the the honey cut that's gonna stay on the cone and that'll be put in. And then basically what we've done is we have a, we have our big extractor, we have our honey bucket. And as you see, it's also got a spigot on it too. So we'll go and open it up, get it flowing. And then that way you can see, basically we'll just filter it right on top of each other. Once you see the whole process, again, we are almost done with this first apiary. We still have three more apiaries to do, but this will be the first. And uh, like I said, this is the only one that we actually have um, cone that we cut. All the rest of them are not like that. Cause like I said, this is just a buddy of ours who uh, who likes his to have a lot of cone in it. But uh, but I hope you uh, have enjoyed this video. If you, uh, if you can, or if you'd like to, we'd like for you to subscribe and watch all the other videos. Ring the bell so you can see when new things are coming. But most of all, happy homesteading, y'all.